Today, we're talking with Rena McGill of Podcast Easy. She's a podcast aficionado, and it really gives people that want to do a podcast a real leg up. Rena, tell me a little bit about what got you started in this field and why why you chose this as the main thing. Absolutely. Look, I am a serial entrepreneur. And for better or for worse, it's the one thing that drives me and gets me up every single day. I have a philosophy that when you wake up in the morning and your feet hit the floor, you better be impassioned about what it is that you're going to do for the day. For me, it's always been about entrepreneurship. I come from a long line of women who taught me the importance of the accountability and responsibility to do more, to be more. And for me, as a woman in business, I want to lift up the 30 million business owners in this country to help them use their voice to leverage their brand. And through the pandemic, all of us, I think, gosh, saw the increase in podcasts. And podcasters, interestingly enough, on a trajectory that is like, going through the stratosphere, there's just a very microscopic percentage of brands that are podcasting. I've always been a solutions provider and I've always wanted to help entrepreneurs, brands of all sizes, level up. And podcasting was definitely that solution. So we assembled a team that I am extraordinarily proud of, actually humbled by, and we brought together Podcast Easy about a year and a half ago. And together as a team, we have been building out a solution that is pretty remarkable that helps podcasters at any level build out a show and take it next level and reach your targeted audience. So that's my why. So it's really about giving people a platform where they can get their message out and make what they do interesting, bring in their own guests, and they need a lot of help with that. It's, there's a lot to it. I understand you're bringing in something new in a couple of weeks called podcast theory. and I, I suppose that's really going to help a lot of people, especially small businesses, to really consider doing this because we need each other more so because of the pandemic and because of things that have happened and where the culture is going. Right. That people are really hungry for long form type of information. And yeah. when you're interested in something, you're going to listen to that show and you're going to listen to it a lot because you're learning That's and right. you're having a great experience. Yes. That's why podcasts work so well. I can see that. You're you're the CEO of, of Podcast Easy. Yes, I am. But you have some great partners. You're in with Rob Greenley, who really helps with the overseeing the lay of the land, or you might call the 30,000 foot view. And he's been famous for building one of the greatest podcast platforms out there. Rob Greenley is definitely a household name, and he's your partner. That's fantastic. Then you have somebody who has 23 years of experience that is right there in the trenches doing it and has a Rolodex that's just amazing that helps new podcasters maybe even get off the ground because he's right in the trenches helping these people be successful. And his name is Mike Barami. Does I say that? correct, yes. Yeah. Very good, very good. Yeah. And then you've brought your son in that has a very unique role. He's the CIO, which is not chief information officer, it's chief innovation officer. Yeah. So he's your idea guy that's in the administrative part of the business. So you really have direction and focus in a way that joining other podcasts and you're trying to do this on yourself, you're just yeah. not going to get. So it's a very high value product that you're putting out there to really help the beginner, the intermediate, even the professional take advantage of all of the connections and the quality of the podcast and all the things that you that are involved because it's really deep actually. Yes. Uh, could you tell me a little bit more of the type of people that so far have jumped on that are using the platform and I like how are they doing? It's never put people in a box and never assume who's going to be your client from coaches to finance experts. It's so interesting how a finance expert approach us. And I thought, 
he is a solutions provider in the insurance world. But I'm telling you, this gentleman rocked it. He's rocked his show. And why has he done that? Because he focused on content. He focused on branding. He focused on engagement with his audience. And it's just been a sheer pleasure working with him and people like him who understand the importance of audience engagement. So I absolutely love that. I was approached by an organization recently who wants us to build out a full podcast network for them. Again, something we didn't expect, but certainly we have the expertise and experience to do for them. And the power of strategic partnerships and relationships is absolutely remarkable. So yeah, it matters. It really does. It's the people. It's the relationships. You're that's something I'm great. That it's just something really great for sure. Yes, it's it's a um, and a privilege yeah. to serve so many types of clients, whether they're a small brand or whether they're a growing medium brand. Everyone needs to be using their voice to leverage the brand. They really do. Some people think that. The larger the audience, the better you're going to do. Maybe that attracts advertisers, but even a small audience is, that could be very valuable because they're dialed in more. It's really what they want, and they're finding the solutions that they might not get elsewhere. So that so it's really about building a loyal following, would you say? It truly is. Look, the last thing you want to do is just blast your content out like you're throwing oatmeal against the wall and hoping it sticks. If you're going to dive into the world of podcasting, you need to understand your niche. You need to understand your audience preferences and the market opportunities that are truly associated with those. Because then you're going to discover or uncover rather what works, what doesn't, and how you're going to differentiate yourself by applying your unique point of view. You have a startup program to help people launch properly. So is this part of what people would learn about and start to execute on? Absolutely. It's a brand new service that we're launching because we have learned that one size does not fit all, right? Okay. <laughs> And this is True. Uh, a, a new product called Smart Launch, and it is six sessions of in-depth training, and it covers your trailer recording session, your show artwork, your licensed show music, strategy sessions, and it gets you off the starting block the right way. And uh, very affordable. Gosh, we are very excited. We are getting great feedback and results from what we're doing. And the fun thing right now, which is we didn't expect to do, it's unheard of, but because it's a new product, Mike Barami, who we mentioned earlier, our head of production, is personally going to be working with the first handful of people so that we get our own feedback. And Oh, that's, very good. Yeah. It's a real gift. Yes. Yes. This is a real high value thing because in six sessions, you can basically launch and be in rather than it taking months and not knowing what to do and can't make decisions on art and graphics and the things that support your podcast that you need, the branding of it. Uh, oh. There's a lot. Uh, it goes pretty deep. I can see how the smart launch is definitely the way to go. Well, it really is. Yeah, very good. Be when we calculated what we were going to charge for that, it we knew that the price tag should have been about $2,900. But we want to expand this program quickly and we want to give people an opportunity to access it. So for now, the price is two payments of $750 or one-time payment of $1,299. And I think a lot of people are going to have a lot of fun by learning how to go through the podcasting journey the correct way. Wow, that's uh, that's a lot of value, and you're saving people money for the amount of time and effort that you're putting into it. Three thousand dollars is a, a bit of change there. It's worth that, and if you get in at twelve ninety nine, you've already saved a ton of money, and you're getting off faster. Time is money. My goodness, after Absolutely six sessions, and you're launched, and you're in it, yep. you're in it to win it. You're just there that much faster. Yep. Wow, that's a fantastic program. Rena, what's the best ways to reach you as far as getting involved with the Smart Launch coming up? 
Absolutely. Go to the website, which is podcast easy, letter E, letter Z, dot com, or you can text podcast EZ to 21,000 or reach out directly if you prefer this way to me, Rena, R E N A, at podcast easy.com. Always here to support everybody's efforts in this journey. It's, it's very privilege. good. It's our privilege. Very good. People are going to uh, have questions and you're there to answer those yes. and uh, take them by the hand. And even with the smart launch, you're holding their hand for six sessions and getting them off the ground and involved right away and giving them a system that's a success system that there's so many years behind it. And you've got the greatest people in there behind you. So it's mm -hmm. this is pretty solid. I recommend any small business that's thinking about how to get their word out to really consider podcasting. I want to thank you for the time today. We'll get this shared out there. So people that have any interest in podcasting start to learn more about you, where to look you up and how to learn more and get involved. A, a smart launch right now at the introduction price. It's fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you, Rita. Thank you. You have a super day today. Mike, thank you so much. It's been an honor and privilege.